Hey besties, it's me Sebastian, the Gay Bestie, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys enjoyed my last video. If you haven't seen it yet, the video was entitled my Get to Know Me tag. So check it out, hope you like it, and I hope it makes you laugh or kind of get a good idea of who I am so far. Well, this video I decided to kind of pluck a story out of that Get to Know Me video. Now, I wanted to really tell you guys about the first time I got my piercings. See, it's like a long story, but I'm going to make it as quick as possible to get there. Just know that it hurt. <laughs> it hurt, to be very honest. I think people tell you like, oh, it doesn't hurt. You feel like a little pinch. That's a lie. Mm -mm. It hurt. Um, so it all happened when I was back in college. And you know when you're in school, a lot of your friends try to tell you about how spring break is so popping, how you need to do X, Y, and Z. See, I went to school in Atlanta and I went to CAU. Shout out to CAU. And a lot of people end up going to either Miami for spring break or they go home or who knows. But I had the bright idea of maybe after graduation, I wanted to go away to LA. Let's just say that never happened. Um, but I was like, okay, got some friends together. We talked about booking some tickets to go to Los Angeles. And we're going to go. We're going to have a good time. We're going to party. We're going to sip. We're going to just live life. And I wasn't sure if I was going to get a tattoo, if I was going to get a piercing. Now, a tattoo is so permanent. And, like, back then, I couldn't even keep the same phone carrier long enough. Like, now I'm thinking to myself, wait, a tattoo? Pause. Maybe not yet. <laughs> but for real. So... There I was, I booked my flight, got everything together. Me and my friends got ready to go to LA. Now, let's pause for a moment. When you're planning a trip, it's very important to make sure you go with the right people. And this is no shade. If you went on that trip with me, this is no shade to you at all personally. But as you can tell, some of us who went on that trip never went on another trip again with each other. Only because people, it's different. There's a difference when you're in town with someone and when you're out of town with someone, like for real. They either know how to get down and roll with it or they're just kind of not in sync with the flow with everybody else. Again, no shades, anybody in particular, it's just a lesson learned. But a good lesson for if you're ever going on a trip, make sure you keep a small group, no more than three other people, and everybody has to be able to go with the flow. Disclaimer. We ended up getting in into LA. We had our layover in Dallas, and then we flew to the connecting flight to LA. Flight was easy breezy. It was simple. Finally, once we get to our room, um, it's time to like book our, our car. We have to pick up a car. So we went to go pick up a car, and only one person at the time had a credit card. Now this person decided to put the their car, well get the car rental on the credit card. And for me, I was thinking to myself, like, is this a good idea? I wasn't quite sure because, you know, people act a little funny when something's under their name. So it's a difference if the car was under my name, then I can drive, probably maybe let another friend drive, if so. But this particular person decided to get the car in their name, right? So I'm thinking, hey, we're good. We're going to have a good time. We're going to go and have this whole trip. We're going to still have have drinks we're still gonna have a good time in the hotel hey we're here right because we all put money in by the way this wasn't just one person's card and we're gonna blow their money not at all we all equally put the same amount but only one person had a credit card to put it on so the car was under her name yeah but the trip is starting and everything and we're having a good time and then the day came where we wanted to get piercings or get tattoos one person wants to get a tattoo on their wrist another person's getting a tattoo on their lower back and I think another person was gonna get a tattoo, but then chumped out. This is from my memory. Again, this was like six years ago. There I am, I get into the place. I instantly knew, okay, Sebastian, you're not getting a tattoo. It's not gonna happen. Like, maybe you could pierce something. What do you wanna pierce? Now, I don't have my ears pierced, nor did I ever do it. I know a lot of guys do, but it's just never been my thing. I didn't really care for it. And I don't wanna waste money. <laughs> So, I had this obsession with Rihanna, and I still do. I love her, like, the chick is bad. Like, let's not, let's not play. She's bad, I love her. And I thought to myself, like, well, maybe I can just get piercings. But what am I exactly gonna pierce? And I was like, well, maybe I can pierce my nipples. Yeah. I said, let me pierce my nipples because 
it may be a little sexy. It's it's like a surprise. No one really knows I have it. Especially since I have my personality, you wouldn't think I had them pierced. So I thought to myself, like, maybe, why not? Then the moment came. We all were there. I was looking at everything. And I remember I talked to the guy. I said, sir, like, look, look, look. I was like, sir, do you think you can pierce my nipples? Because they're smaller than average. Like, my, t they are so tiny. They're like this big. Like, look, for real. You think I'm playing? Like, they're really this big. Seriously. So, <laughs> I'm asking the man, like, have you ever pierced, like, extremely small nipples? Or are you okay with it? And he was like, no, I can. And let me tell you this, too. For real. People just want your money at the end of the day. They will lie to you for the dollar. And, you know, when you're young and dumb, you just go along with, like, okay, sure. Now, I really shouldn't have paid for it, but I paid for it. And I got charged, ooh, off the butt. And I don't even know if it's even true, but apparently the place that we went to was the same spot that Rihanna went to. So when I heard, oh, snap, Rihanna got her, remember on her finger, she said that love tattoo on the middle finger? I guess saying F love. And I was like, oh, this is where she got it? Well, cool, let me go to the same spot. My friend found the place, so we think thinking we're good. We gonna come here, it's legit, it's clean, it's not gonna be crazy. So we go, and you know, I'm laying there on the bed, I'm getting myself ready, and I'm getting to the point where they're about to like, get me, you know, about to get pierced. So, <laughs> finally, um, the guy gets the needle out. I'm like, hold on, sir, don't do it yet. Can someone play Rihanna's Rockstar? I promise you, I was that pressed. I was so pressed to make sure that the moment was right, that I'm about to do this, I'm about to get this. These nipple piercings. <laughs> and finally, the guy pinches my nipple so hard, like there was no numbing to it, no nothing. He pinches my nipple so hard, and then I'm breathing heavy, and when I get nervous, I'm a sweater. I'm not gonna lie, I start to sweat. So I could feel my back sweating on the leather like oh my god i'm nervous i'm scared and i'm like breathing heavy my friends are to my left the other one's to my, well, my friends to my left and the other one's to my right and i'm like oh oh excuse me i'm like oh <laughs> what's about to happen because this piercing is about to come through my body i'm scared remember my back is sweating my face is sweating i'm like no not yet and i can't jump out yet i have to do this and then before i know it the needle goes straight through my nipple and it's like, oh my God, I can feel, like, I can feel the bar through my body. I promise you not, I wanted to stop right then and there. I wanted to stop. I wanted to stop so bad. But I laid it like a champ and let him do the next one. And when he did the next one, I was still, like, a little lost for words. Like, what was I thinking? What am I, why am I doing this? But I did it, and I was, I remember my nipples feeling very hot. Because they, they felt like they were on fire after I did it. Because it was just so hot. And it wasn't popping at all. Like, it wasn't anything I thought it would be. And the bar was so tiny. Like, I felt like it wasn't even sexy. It wasn't. And then I remember my nipples when they swelled up. Because they were so hot. And the bars were to the side. It was cute for maybe about five minutes. <laughs> like, it was cute legit for like five minutes. And I just... I'm glad they're gone, to be quite honest. But I remember like feeling like, what did I just do? And then the nerve of this man. Let me, you know how much he charged me? Let me. I'm ashamed to even say how much he charged me. He charged me $130 for the piercings, the um, the rings, and it was just the bars. It was nothing special. And the cleaning stuff, like that I ended up losing like maybe like a month later. Hot mess. Judge me if you must. It is what it is. But I remember going um, back to the hotel and thinking to myself, like, what like, did I just do? But I wanted to keep it cool, and I was, like, nervous we're going out. And I remember the chest being very tender. I couldn't, like, lay certain ways. I couldn't lay on my chest. I couldn't lay back. And it's just the dumb stuff you do when you're young. And I was 21, like, so pressed, trying to live life, trying to make it seem like I was doing something popping. But no. I wasn't popping. I wasn't, <laughs> I didn't come from a family of money. The money they even booked the flight and the whole trip with was my refund. Right, not smart. If you're in college, don't do that. Like, don't. Granted, I know you wanna live life. I know you wanna do stuff. You wanna experience, but my reality was I was broke. 
I was a broke college student trying to make it happen. And <laughs> I'm in LA with some friends trying to have a good time. And really I'm doing it on the dime that should be going back to school. Yeah, like smart, maybe not. But I remember that whole trip all together was okay. It wasn't the worst trip ever, but I know certain people just want to do certain things. I remember one friend, like I never forget like, this is something that, ha something that happened during the trip where, you know, we were young and we wanted to be out and about and living it up in the city. And then she had the nerve to make us stay in the hotel one night at six o'clock. I remember being back in the hotel at six o'clock. And you're like, hold on, I'm I'm young, I'm living my life, I'm in LA, I'm in a different city, I'm gonna take the experience in. And there I was trapped in the hotel because she didn't want us to leave with the car because it's under her name. What? I mean, but like, if you ain't down for the cause, why did you come? <laughs> like, that's how I feel. And Grant, like me, I'm the kind of person where if I, want to go out and have a good time and I want to party, if whatever it is. And I just try to go with the flow of whatever majority says. I try to be fair as possible. I don't want to make it seem like I'm the only decision maker. Granted, I can make decisions. I say granted a lot. I'm about to work on that. <laughs> but I try to make fair decisions for the group. I don't feel like one person should only be in charge. I think we're all in it together for a reason. We all came for a reason together. And... I was blown. I remember that feeling being super duper blown. Like, why are you here just to talk on the phone with one of your friends back in Atlanta? Like, come on now. Like, we supposed to be having a good time and enjoying ourselves. A long story short, to make it, you know, all make sense, don't go to LA and get your nipples pierced. Don't go, especially to the place that I went to. I don't remember the name of the place anymore. Like, I just had the guy overcharge my butt. And to be young and dumb and pay $130, what was I thinking? For what? For who? What? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> and then only to take it out because it was too small. It was even to the point where the bar was like sliding in some, it probably sounds so TMI or graphic, but the bar was like sliding into my nipple and it wasn't healing properly. Like the guy told me it takes two years for it to heal. I promise you two years later, it still wasn't completely healed. Like one looked okay, other one didn't look so good. And then got to the point where one just completely came out and the other one, I just got it taken out because it was just a waste of time to even have it anymore. And it wasn't even cute. So really, like, what's the point? Um, but I would so recommend, if you go on a trip, make sure you go with some with a group of people who are down for the cause consistently. Um, definitely get the car in your name if you're a good decision maker. Okay, or if everyone's going to be fair. And I would say, don't get your nipples pierced. Don't go to the same place I went to. I wish I even had, I wish I still had the name, but I don't. Yeah, I thank you guys for watching this video and make sure you follow me on social media. You can catch me at thegaybestie.com. You can catch me on Instagram at, at thegaybestie. You can also catch me on Twitter under I am Sebastian. Pretty much you can find me anywhere with typing in the gay bestie. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you guys. I love you. I thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check out my vlogs. I have plenty of content consistently and until next time as always love Mwah.